Hello and welcome to our second episode on the Zanzibar tour. Today is a special episode because we are touring two houses on one episode. Stay tuned. Fumba Town is a project by CPS and they have different types of units ranging from apartments to different types of villas. Today we will be checking out Bustani and Horizon Villas. Let's start our tour with Horizon Villa. Prices start from 400,000 US dollars for this cozy villa. From here we can see the facade of the house. There is a small parking area of two cars. Let's walk inside and see what the house has to offer. Right off your entrance, you have the staircase taking you upstairs and you're going to see that space later on. And you have the guest bedroom on this side, which is quite spacious. And uh, one thing you notice that every room is aircon. It gets its own independent aircon. And you have uh, the bathroom serving this space. And with this, yeah. uh, it's been a while since we saw uh, concrete uh, yeah, so, yeah, I love it, and yeah. especially because they, they, it just applies to the ceiling. Oh the yes, the ceiling. So yeah. this is really nice, and it goes well. It integrates well with the tiling that is done on yeah. this platform, and I love these wooden shelves. Yeah, of course, yeah. these are just some unique features that you're not used to to see all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Just something, something I need. I think I need to mention is they don't really use a lot of metal. Oh yeah. Because uh, we are the humidity in this area makes it easier for it to rust. Yes. Yeah. That is. We actually saw that in some places where we yeah. use metal and it has rusted. Yeah? yeah. And as I was saying about the ceilings, we can see that uh, the ceiling is also bare. Yeah. yeah. And I love just how that concrete uh, bare look. Yeah. yeah. It's really amazing, especially with plants. Uh, so let's uh, move on. We have a folder over here that is going under maintenance, so we're not going to check it out. Yep. Uh, but on this side, you have your dining area, and I love how from the door you can actually see your pool and yeah, your, 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 your backyard. Ocean, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, and the ocean. Yeah, yeah. the backyard. <laughs> like, and you can see some island at the far, but like maybe 500 meters off the beach. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is amazing. I'm telling you, this place feels like um, you're inside a picture or a movie or something. I don't know. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And uh, you have your open in your kitchen. Perhaps this is what really talks about when he says once his space is open. This is exactly what I'm talking <laughs> about, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, when it's open like yeah. this, yeah. it's very comfortable to go around the kitchen yeah. and be also be one with the living room as well. It's very good use of space, and especially because this is more like a holiday home yeah. or just uh, something out of the norm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So you don't want to leave your home and come to the norm. So I, yeah. I mean, this is this is unique. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is your living area, and I like how you get a lot of natural light. We don't have uh, much light, so it's really amazing. Again, the seal. I mm -hmm. love this. <laughs> I'll keep mentioning it over and over again. Yeah. Uh, in Kenya, I don't see it a lot. Yeah. So I just wish you could see it more, and especially when it's well done like this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move back to the backyard and see what this place has to offer. And uh, here you have a sim setup, you have a your gas connection, and you can probably do laundry here if you wanted. Yeah. If you have another space for that. And behind the wheels, because I don't want us to forget, yeah, mm -hmm. we have a, you know, like this uh, city setup, but beyond it, we have an outdoor bathroom. Which is really nice because there's the pool there. Yeah. However, and, and also coming from the beach, if you feel like yeah. you're sandy, sandy. Yeah. 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 You can just pop in here yeah. and, shower, and this place gets hot. It does. So I'm sure you'll be taking a lot of shower, yeah. cold yeah. showers yeah. Yeah. just to freshen up. And uh, I like the material here. What do you, what do you call this material? Tetrazine. Tetrazine. Yeah. Uh, it's 
in habitats in Zanzibar. Yep. So they're even using it on the road construction for tamaking and so on. Eh? Yeah. And it was just uh, something unique that I have not seen before. Yeah. Uh, but really, we, we have seen it as cladding, but not really. No, not as, uh, yeah. in its used, natural form, yeah. and especially natural being used in its natural element. Yeah. Uh, so you have the pole up here. So rather, this the, this one is a bit bigger since it's extended. Yeah. It's like a nail pole. Yeah. And I'm told that it's quite deep. It is. Not it is. Us. I've been inside there. Yeah. Yeah. You are? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, nice. Where was I? Yeah. I like that it has some lighters down. You can see the side lights. Yeah. And I just be showing it at night and how to look. I wish you could be here at night, but we don't really have that time now. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. actually trying to get uh this to pull a last minute show with this one. Yeah, yeah we're already late for a flight. <laughs> <laughs> but uh moving on to this backyard, I like Frontals again, you can see that uh, this space is not much, but the way they have used it, yeah, you don't feel like uh, it's a small space, yeah, you don't appreciate it. Yeah, yeah actually, the, what I was saying is this house has shown me that even with the little plinth area that you can get, yeah. you can actually still have you a pool, a yeah, and as you can see, this is a infinity, infinity edge, yeah, so this is really nice. And I just imagine sitting in the your living room or your dining area, yeah, and uh, having that infinity connecting, infinity edge connecting with the ocean, yeah, perfect. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> you guys need to come down here to experience what you're experiencing. And uh, moving on to your backyard, uh, you have quite some space, yeah, yeah, what you can use for playing, chilling out, you know, say hi to the neighbors, mm -hmm. and you have very nice. Houses on this other side that I hope you get to tour next time you come down here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the estate continues. This development is quite huge. And it is done by a company called CPS. Yeah. And you'll be amazed that they're also based in Kenya. They actually have an office in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, I'm sure maybe some of you have seen them at the home expos. And as we are shooting this, we even told there's a home expo they are telling that is going on. Yeah. Also, another thing I feel like I should mention, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have observed that there's not really too much security measure yeah. in terms of having fences and your home yeah. um, just enclosed. Yeah. And it's because uh, this island by itself is safe location, safe location you know? Actually, every person that is building in this island do doesn't have their home fenced. Yeah, yeah. all the homes yeah. are the same, man. Yeah, so that should tell you about and, that. And uh, we have to be clear that it's not just the estates coming up. Even the natives of this place, they don't fence their homes. Huh? We have perhaps something in common with Tanzanians. Yeah. Something that is trying to be, you know, you'll find them in some estates in Kenya, but not all over the place. Yeah. In this place, you find it everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we at the second landing of this place. So let's check out these bedrooms. On this side, we have a bathroom. So we start with this bedroom. Yeah. Almost similar to the bathroom downstairs. Mm -hmm. And welcome to the bed space, the wardrobe space. This one is front facing, but you get uh, a lot of natural lighting. Yeah, you can see. a huge window actually, though, the rooms. And the ceiling. <laughs> I keep mentioning that. <laughs> I really want to see some developers back at home. Uh, incorporating that here. Yeah. It's a very nice thing to see. Yeah. And on this side we have a, another bedroom, which is the private bedroom, mm -hmm. which is massive. I uh, have its uh, wardrobe set up there. You can see the bed space is quite huge. Yeah. And uh, on this side we have a very nice bathroom space that I'm sure ladies is going to love. Um, that I do. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I even saw it as just counting the houses and was like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. You have a bathtub set up there and uh, your, your shower area here that also comes with a bench. So, mm -hmm. you know, the heat in this place, I can't feel it so good sitting on this bed. And you can, you, you can actually adjust the rain and to heat you exactly uh, where you are. Water, man. Yeah. Yeah. Or even just to yeah. the faucet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to have air comes on, you can have your air comes on yeah. throughout. Yeah. At the moment you step out, you're like, ooh. <laughs> so it's good for those July months in Nairobi. You yeah. come down here, have a whole different beer. Yeah. And like I said, and like I had mentioned earlier on, it's pretty much affordable. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And again, you have this concrete being used as a vanity setup. And yeah. I love it, a simple setup. I mean, this is really amazing. Yeah, it is. It is quite minimalistic. Yeah. And now I'm sure people can see where we really sit now with this bathtub because of this window that opens up to 
the ocean. Yeah. I mean, developers, there's so much to us. <laughs> it has water, but really, maybe we can show them how what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> just a, just a free standing down with an open window. Please, that is all we need. <laughs> it's amazing. A free standing tub. Um, Looking out the ocean views, yeah, and uh, I believe from this house you can see it down at night. Mm -hmm. So imagine how that view would look like. Yeah, it's actually, if you look close, you'll see ferries uh, going through that place. Oh yeah, yeah, by the far, far, far end. Yeah, and you can see some boats, uh, fishermen, in that. Yeah, so it's it's a really nice place to be in. Mm -hmm. from. I'm loving the view, so I keep mentioning them throughout. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I uh, actually don't have to go back there. I can just uh, use this small part and mm -hmm. uh, walk into what is the primary bedroom, balcony, or rather like a. It's, it's, it's this is actually space. a sitting space. This is like a patio. patio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A covered patio. Yeah. So this uh, ceiling has cantilevered all the way. Yep. And uh, you. Maybe this is what you can call a balcony space. Yeah. Of your patio. Yeah. Again, in this area, you get to appreciate these views. My goodness. Mm -hmm. How many times have I said views since we came here? I think not enough times. Not enough times? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, this side, this maybe you can steal a shot of the neighbors in larger pool. Yeah. So if the houses on this side are quite bigger, yeah. we are told that there were some of the first houses on the island. Yeah. And they are all occupied. Sold out. Sold out. Yeah. All sold out. And the owners are also yeah. living in the park. You'll actually be sure that most of these houses you're touring are sold, sold out. All, yeah, almost all of out. them. Actually, this unit is someone's unit. They like just this got it unit you're reviewing is one. And yeah. they only have two available units for sale. For like sale, yeah. One. However, yeah. they have so many other units coming up, yep. like uh, the penthouses I was talking about. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to come back and film those penthouses. They call Bustani. Bustani, so, yeah. So that, that is going to be amazing, man. Yeah. So we look forward to coming back back here checking them out but in the meantime since we said uh, uh, this 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 episode is special because we are going to show you two houses so we want to go all the other way so that we can check out another house quickly and then go catch our flight back to Nairobi. Yeah so but before that let's check the clubhouse. Before that oh yeah must buy the clubhouse yeah then the house yeah uh, I don't know you guys can continue and I want to <laughs> we should leave you here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm sure you're going to come back and show you more of what this place has to offer. In the meantime, again, if you're also interested in this space, we have Ray's number there. You can just call him and he's going to tell you how you can uh, you know, come down to Fumba and get this house. Thank you so much. See you on the other side. to uh, have you know live my life here yeah and just chill away but maybe when i make enough money I'll probably escape to this place and just be alone you know yesterday in the evening yeah we were trying to get to that last shot yeah and we saw the lady who was at the beach oh yeah yeah i just felt yeah like, just living the life you know he said he was tired of the city life yeah and he just wanted to be away from that you know and she just came and bought a property here and now yeah. she's living yeah. How she was. You're having a second <laughs> thought. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a second thought, especially if the water is going to be this clear. Yeah. This clean, this blue. I mean, this this is it for me. So you can just imagine, have, especially in the evening when the tide is well. Yeah. And the water is uh, below you, so you can even sit on these nets and enjoy yourself. Yeah. So, let me see. Woo. Can I trust this thing? Yeah, trust it to hold your weight, definitely. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually a small one. I can turn the bigger one. The bigger one? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you can be there with someone else, like your uh, girlfriend, I don't know. <laughs> oh, we came along. You should have come. <laughs> back home. But I believe that you're going to be back here 
and uh, we, we should come down with some some of our friends and fans. Yep. Just uh, have a look at what the place has to offer because the place has a lot to offer. It so does. This is not the only thing that we have to offer. Yep. So definitely we are going to come back so that we can see more of uh, what Zanzibar and I mean the views. Is, uh, I'll keep going to that. <laughs> I just want the views to talk for me. I need to shut up and let the yeah. stop. You can, you can never get enough of this. Yeah. So the house is amazing and all, but the views. Yep. This this is uh what is it? This is my best. It is that it is. Yeah. Yeah, so let's get back to the tour and check out the last house. Yes. Let's go. Is your welcome to your front porch and I like how you have that clear separation of your living quarters and the powder room behind me this way. This is where you have the powder room. Very nice, very decent. It's well lit. We are actually filming with the uh, natural light out there, okay? Yeah. And uh, here you have the stairs and on this side, what uh, the reason I was calling it a semi four bedroom is because uh, this uh, room can be used in many other ways. Yeah? Yeah. It doesn't have to be specifically a bedroom, you can use it as an office. Mm. Perfect because it's just off your entrance yeah. and uh, you can also use it as a storage area. Yeah. And, and I like the fact that the windows are big so you can literally exit and just so jump yeah. in the pool. Yeah. That's a very good point. The yeah. window goes almost all the way to the dam. Yeah. So you can just exit, go to the pool. But um, like someone who works here told us, why use the pool when you have the ocean? Yeah, <laughs> and the and the beach house like not really beach the clubhouse. The clubhouse is yeah, it's just meters. yeah a few meters yeah. and it's it's really nice. They get to enjoy movies there, you know. Yeah. So welcome to your living quarters. Uh, very small, but uh, again gives you that uh, homely feeling away from home. Yeah. Because I imagine most people you use this as a travel destination. However, mm -hmm. you have actually seen people who live here. Yeah, I we know when we're looking at the pictures before, I thought that this is a purely a tourist destination, only to get here and see that people actually stay here. Yeah, and it's uh, there are people from all over the world. We have seen uh, we have seen Asians, we have seen Africans, we have seen uh, Europeans, right? Yeah. So it's, you can imagine the diversity in this place. Probably yeah. very unique, I would say. Mm -hmm. So um, and nice again. I love the way these doors open up to the pool. As I mentioned, as you are passing the pool. Yeah. So moving forward to where we is, you can have a dining setup here, and again that will open to your outdoor set. Yeah. So these glass doors. Imagine if I get a pool over here. I know he this loves this corner glass and glass. Of course that I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this this is very cool. I yeah. recommend them for that. And they have these shapes just for when you want to reduce the breeze or yeah, yeah bugs or yeah, like yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, So specifically because you know uh, down the coast there's too much warmth so yeah. bugs are yeah. You no. Know? Yeah. So well you can actually feel that breeze coming into the house. Mm -hmm. Since you have already checked out uh, the outdoors, let's just move on and see what else the house has to work out. Yes. So on this side, you get your kitchen. And again, it's an open living kind of place mm -hmm. because of that uh, one is party feeling. You know? Yeah. So if you're, if you're here with your friends, you can be there chilling at the dining table, living uh, the, at the living area, and uh, you're here cooking and having conversations with them. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You have your double sink, you have your appliances here. So, um, as you can see, you, have, you don't come with those super layers that you used to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there's a lot of cabinetry here, yeah, so whatever space, amount of space you need, you have it. Yeah. yeah. And moving on to this other side, you have a small area that you can use as a laundry area, and this door opens to your right side of the house. Yeah. yeah. And on this side, you have a small space that you can also use as another storage area as a pantry. Yeah. yeah. I think this will work well as a pantry. As a pantry, yeah. yeah. And uh, moving on. 
let's uh, now take the stairs and see what this house has to offer. Right? Yeah. I think this is a cool uh, house because it's small and cozy. Yes, it is. Yeah, I like I like such houses. I do. Yeah, even though I like big houses, yeah. right? I have there's some part of me that does like this. Yeah. This feels this feels perfect, especially if it's a holiday home. Yeah, I'm seeing it as a very perfect house. Yeah. So once of the staircase landing, you have your bathroom space. Very nice plan to set up water closet and your shower area. And I like that they went with ling and rings. Yeah. Love to see that. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. And on this side you have a bedroom. Let's call it bedroom number one. Mm -hmm. Well actually also pass the bedroom number two, which they uh, all uh, set up. So this bedroom and uh, the next bedroom share that washroom. Yeah. So welcome to bedroom number two. Very nice space. Another thing to notice is that every room gets its own independent air code. Yeah. Yeah. And behind the wheelies, we have some glass side windows that open up to our balcony. Yeah, it's shared yeah, it's yeah, by the master bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a very big balcony for that matter. Yeah. And this side, you have to pass for a private bedroom. <laughs> and it's really spacious. So we have this wardrobe setup. Is they are trying to install the bed, they're still setting up the showroom. Yeah. So bear yeah, with that. And on this side you have the bathroom set up with a double vanity set up and the auto closet and you know the shower sure. yeah. drinks again. I love that. <laughs> so moving on. Again, I like, don't think I mentioned this side in those but it's really the same. The balcony shared with the other bedroom. And it's really spacious. Can go the way to this side. So it's a wrap around balcony. It goes all the way to that side. Yeah. 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 And I now think that's cool. cool. Yeah, it's very really cool. Yeah. You can come on. See, it's very really special. Yeah. Yeah. It's very big. It's very big, and I love this cladding. I didn't notice it when we were checking out the house. I don't know what I was looking at. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it, it looks nice, especially if we get the drone shots of this thing. Yeah. You see how it marries with the design of the yeah. house. Oh, yeah. yeah. And on this side, you enjoy the ocean views. Yeah. You're imagining the kind of a cool setup that you have here. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy those views. Yeah. And it's I think the thing amazing. you haven't mentioned yet is that this project is an off plan project. Oh, yeah. So that's why you can see a couple of unfinished buildings as well. Yeah. Yeah, There's a lot here. of construction that is going on yeah. because uh, people basically buy off plan yeah. and then they are uh, the milestones. Yeah? yeah. So depending on how, you know, well, if you have all the money and you pay it one off, yeah. you're able to rush your house. But if you don't, if you're paying with installments, they can give you up to 36 months, yeah? Yeah. which is technically three years. Yeah. So within that timeline, they expect you to have finished. Yeah? So now let's uh, go back and check out the rooftop. Yeah. 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 can't even imagine that this house has all this much space. It's really cool. Um, it's a pricey actually. Yeah. So welcome to the rooftop. So if the balcony downstairs is not enough for you, well, here it is. And I believe from here now we can actually enjoy those ocean views. Yeah. Look at that. This thing looks like something straight out of the moon. It's picturesque. A lot. Ah, oh, this is amazing, I'm man. I mean, I, I, I definitely get this house for the views. Yeah. Yeah. And also, place? I think uh, because uh, Zanzibar, it has been quite hard to find uh, a place for accommodation in terms of Airbnbs and. Especially in the side of Fumba. Yeah, yeah, especially on this side of Fumba. Yeah. This would be a good investment as an Airbnb yeah. because I feel like you'll be, you'll be booked always. We have uh, Stone Town, yeah. which is uh, developed. That's where you have all the hotels and the businesses. Yeah. And uh, around it, you can find accommodation easily. Yeah. But when you come to Fumba, Fumba is an upcoming area, yeah. which where you have all these uh, very nice uh, buildings coming up. Yeah. But it's not that uh, developed yeah. in terms of construction. Yeah. So it's really hard to get somewhere to see. In fact, you have to go all the way back to. Uh, Mwembeni. Yes. Uh, it's Mwembeni. Mwembeni. You have to yeah. go back Mwembeni, Mwembeni, yeah. Mwembasa, 
or Stone Town. Stone Town, yeah. Yeah. Yet you come to go up here. So that's a bit tricky. So as Willis is saying, this would be perfect for Airbnbs, but I'm sure that is going to come up with all the apartments and all these projects that are coming up. Yeah. This is definitely going to be a thing yeah. going forward. Yeah, especially that the government will yeah, clear these so spaces. These are in a free economic zone. Yeah. And uh, you can tell by the kind of projects that are coming up yeah. that they are serious. Indeed it's going it to be a serious destination. Yeah. So there will also be a ferry connecting this place to Which, Darissa yeah. direct. Which will be a 30 minute ferry, you know? 30 minute ferry trip. Which is shorter compared to uh, from Dar es Salaam to Stone Town, Zanzibar, mm-hmm. which is one hour thirty. Minutes. Yeah. So that that is going to give it a competitive edge, and Definitely. therefore, if actually most people are in BNB business. You can come and do it before we do it. Yeah, we are definitely going to, <laughs> going to come do, back and yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that's got our eye on. Like, wow, we need to do a BNB. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we apologize for the poor sound. We had unforeseen technical problems with our mics, but won't be the case on the coming episodes. Please consider subscribing and see you on the next episode.